we all have a responsibility and a need to shape the future of mobilities within our city. It's, we cannot leave it to city officials, it's too big a load, and actually it needs the creativity and the design of all of us. I think mobility is one of the world's biggest problems. 70% of a growing population living in the city by 2050. Everyone's kind of interacting with the fabric of our cities in, in new ways. We have to think about people scale design again really develop cities around human needs. It's about making our transport systems work. It's about understanding where people are and how they're moving through space. We're trying to harness the power of vehicle data, harness the power of city data. I think bringing those two together can give us real insight into how cities really work and how we can go about finding those solutions uh, to all those major problems that cities currently have. There's a number of technologies that we can put in cities uh, in the next few years, but the question is how do we deploy them in a way so that people trust what they're actually going to do. Hello everyone, welcome to the Ford City of Tomorrow event. You've been handpicked for your experiences and your expertise to really come together and have a conversation and the theme for today is trust in transformation. Today we're here at London's beautiful design museum uh, to talk about the future of cities and how the public and private sector can come together to design a city that works for everyone. Collaboration is important for the city of tomorrow because the more voices we have around the table, the more we can make a city for everyone. I think it's helpful to have different people around the table with different perspectives to try to figure out creatively how to find solutions to that problem. Collaboration is really important uh, for the city of tomorrow because without consensus, the solutions um, that we can generate using computation algorithms um, will relate only to the, whoever designed the algorithm. The real key is getting people to agree on what we're solving for. Collaboration will be absolutely essential. Without that, you're never going to get an answer that will work for everyone. Well, I think data is central to so many of the new services, new technologies that are coming forward. Data is important, but it's secondary to our shared knowledge and agreement of what the problem is that we're solving. I think anonymous data, it can be a really valuable tool, but I think we've seen the misuse of data in the last few years, and it's really important that we work on policy to really safeguard people. We've got limited space for a lot of people, um, and it's not going to be one organization that's going to solve the problems. Our collaboration is absolutely critical. I don't think one uh, person in this ecospace can solve it. It's clearly critical. We all work together with a focus on people. And I think that for all of us in, in thinking through what the future of mobility looks like and what our role is within that, we have to think not just from our own perspective, but also from other people's perspective. At Ford Smart Mobility, we're really at the beginning of our own journey. And we are very keen to work with the different groups represented here today to think differently and to really work together to design the future city of tomorrow.